The woman woke up and found herself in the morgue, where Elliot, the mortician, told her she was dead. The woman doesn't believe it. If she's dead why can she still talk? Elliot said you have to calm down. Everyone who comes here does not want to admit that they are dead, and then showed him the death notification letter issued by the police. Now Anna remembered. Eight hours ago she and her boyfriend quarrel. Emotional she drove on the highway midway to avoid a white car. Unfortunately had a car accident. But at this moment Anna still does not believe. She wants Elliot to let her go and promise not to tell anyone. Elliot ignored her and started to help Anna to clean up her appearance. He used a thin thread to slowly sew up her wound. Anna was surprised to find that she could not feel any pain at all. Could she really be dead? She asked Elliot why. But Elliot still did not answer. He looked at his watch and then took out a syringe and told Anna that this is a muscle relaxant to prevent muscle stiffness after death. Anna can't move and is at his mercy. But before she passed out, she vaguely heard Elliot say to her that your mother was coming. Sure enough, Anna's mother was waiting outside the door at the moment. And she couldn't help but cry when she looked at her daughter's cold body. Late at night, Anna woke up from her coma and found that she could move. So she felt her pulse and found that she could not feel a thing. Was she really dead? Anna hurriedly reassured herself that no, she must have been scared out of her mind. She pulled herself together and tried to escape, but the door was firmly locked. On the other hand, Anna's boyfriend, Paul, blames himself when he learns that his girlfriend died in a car accident because she had a fight with him. But Elliot said he was not Anna's family and could not go in. Paul was furious. They argued. At this time Anna also heard the noise. To confirm the voice of her boyfriend and then began to shout for help. But no matter how loud she was Paul could not hear. Huddled behind the door in despair. Anna asked Elliot why he wouldn't let Paul come in to see her. Elliot smiled slightly and said the reason why he didn't let Paul see you was so that you would be completely cut off from earthly thoughts. You are now a soul. Only I can see you. Anna laughed directly after hearing this. You must be crazy. You are obviously preventing me from seeing my family and yet you say so righteously. That day my mother came to see me because you gave me the drug in advance, right? Elliot didn't want to argue with her. He told Anna to wait for the burial and not to think about it. And then he locked her up again. Anna was desperate. And when she saw the surgical scissors Elliot had left here, Anna was ready to kill Elliot when he wasn't looking. His girlfriend was killed in a car accident. But the mortician wouldn't let him see her one last time. Paul suspects that his girlfriend is not dead. And he comes to the police station to use his connections to get a search warrant. Although the sheriff and his relationship is very good, but did not agree to his unreasonable request. On the other hand, Anna hid the scissors behind her. She took advantage of Elliot's inattention and thrust them through. But Elliot was agile and easily dodged them. Anna saw that the situation was not right and rushed to the door. But the door could not be opened. Elliot held Anna's hand tightly and let her stab him in the neck. Anna was scared and begged Elliot to let her go. How can she be dead when she can breathe and pee and poo? Elliot said that the reason we could both talk was because I could talk to spirits. And then asked Anna what else was worth remembering. Anna didn't know what to say for a while. Elliot got angry and said you people don't value life. And only after death do you feel regret. And blame me for your own death. I've really had enough. He finished and slammed the door and left Anna helplessly lying on the table. When Elliot came to the morgue again and saw the room smashed up by Anna, he was very angry and asked Anna why she did that. Anna said that life after death was too boring. That's when Elliot's face dropped. Anna was finally willing to accept the fact that she was dead. He asked Anna to try on his birthday suit, and Anna took the key from his pocket while he was not looking. But after Elliot left, Anna opened the door with the key. Elliot, who was ready to pay at the convenience store felt his pocket and found the key missing, and rushed home to collide with Anna who opened the door to escape. Anna is very scared. She can only run to the second floor. Running away Anna accidentally dropped the knife on the floor. At this point Elliot is sure that Anna is on the second floor. Anna used the phone in the second floor room to call her boyfriend and tell him she needed help. But the signal was bad and Paul couldn't hear what she was saying. Paul thought he was missing his girlfriend and was hallucinating. So he hung up. Meanwhile, Elliot came to Anna's room and told her again that he was dead. Anna still didn't believe him. Everything that just happened was so real. Elliot asked her to look in the mirror, in which Anna's face was white and lifeless, like a walking corpse. This time Anna was finally willing to accept the fact that she was dead. She lowered her head and let out a long sigh without noticing the fog that appeared in the mirror. Elliot paled and wiped it away before Anna could spare the rag. What Elliot doesn't know is that this is all seen by Jack, a young boy passing by downstairs. The next day Paul comes to Anna's workplace to sort out her belongings. 
Jack says he saw Anna wearing a red dress on the second floor of Elliot's house. But Paul doesn't believe the boy because Anna doesn't have a red dress at all. As Paul drove towards home, he passed a clothing store and glanced at the red dress on the model. Paul then remembered that his girlfriend had worn the exact same dress and Jack really wasn't lying. At the funeral home Elliot was doing the makeup of a dead man. His body was badly damaged and Elliot was carefully stitching up his wounds. That's when Anna walks by, having accepted the fact that she's dead. But she is still curious if her mother and boyfriend shed any tears when they saw her. Elliot said no, and Anna finally died. The most important person in her life didn't care about her death. So what reason did she have to live? Paul drove to the funeral home again and asked to see Anna one last time. This time he barged in without waiting for Elliot's permission. Paul kept calling Anna's name outside the door. But Anna didn't respond to him when she heard him. She just wanted to wait quietly for her own burial. Elliot advised him to leave or he would have to call the police. Paul had to go to the police station for help. He told his friend that Anna was definitely still alive and that there was a drug. That could make a living person's heartbeat drop to zero and look like a dead person. But his friend didn't believe him at all and said that Paul must be sad and needed to calm down and that he would see Anna at the funeral tomorrow. Elliot made the final preparations for Anna at the funeral home. Anna said she had so many regrets. She had wanted a different life but didn't have the courage. Every morning she just washed her face, brushed her teeth and drove to work and then drove home. Her biggest regret was not getting married to Paul. She obviously loved him but never said it. And as she said it, Anna started to choke up. Elliot asked what he would do if he gave her another chance. Anna gets up and walks to the door. At that moment an image flashed through her mind of her mother and boyfriend praying for him but not showing the slightest sign of sadness. So Anna went back into the room. She still did not have the courage to face all this. At this moment Anna was glad she was dead. A day later the funeral is held as scheduled and Elliot prepares to inject Anna with drugs. Anna wanted to see herself one last time. Elliot handed her the mirror and Anna looked at herself in it with a sense of relief. Suddenly the mirror fogs up and Anna realizes she is not dead. She tries desperately to break out of the cage. But there is nothing she can do. After Elliot gives him the last dose of the drug, Anna falls into a deep sleep. At the funeral Paul finally sees Anna. He takes out the diamond ring he has prepared and puts it on Anna and then gives her a kiss. Elliot looked nervous. He hurriedly closed the coffin and then returned to the room to set Anna's picture on the wall. And there were many such people next to Anna's picture. Anna was buried in this way. Although she woke up but no one could hear her voice. Paul at the vigil drank wine sadly. As if he could not live without Anna. Elliot, who seems to have seen his prey at this point tells Paul that Anna may not be dead and that he can visit the cemetery. Paul curses him as a madman and drives frantically to the cemetery. Elliot was waiting by the side of the road in his hearse, as if he had decided that Paul was dead. Paul dodged one car after another along the way. After a white light Paul lay in the funeral home. This time it was Elliot who organized his appearance. Many people do not understand this movie. The movie is actually about Elliot who thinks of himself as God. He hates people who waste their time and are in a mess and Anna is that kind of person. The white car that Anna was hiding from during the accident was Elliot's hearse. Why is Paul his prey? Because after Anna's death, Paul was devastated. He once said he couldn't live without Anna and that's why he became Elliot's prey.